As you've seen, ratios can be written to look just like fractions. But there are important differences and similarities between ratios and fractions. Here is a collection of marbles of different colors. There are blue marbles, red marbles, and yellow and green marbles. Let's look at the ratio of yellow to red. As you can see, the ratio of yellow to red is 2 to 3. which can also be written in fraction form, two-thirds. But this isn't a fraction. It's a part-to-part -part ratio. Part of the marbles are yellow, and part of them are red. The ratio of these two parts is two to three. But a fraction is a ratio of a part to the entire collection. It's a part-whole ratio. Let's find the fraction of yellow marbles that there are in this collection. We know there are two yellow marbles. And we can count the total, which is nine marbles. So the fraction of yellow marbles, the fraction of the whole, is two ninths. Likewise, the fraction of red marbles is three ninths. which simplifies to one-third. This is also a part-whole ratio. If we divide the fraction of yellow marbles, two-ninths, by the fraction of red marbles, one-third, something interesting results. The calculation involves dividing fractions, which we show here. Two-ninths divided by one-third is equal to two-ninths times the reciprocal of one-third, or three over one, or simply three. Simplified, we get two-thirds. Notice that this is the ratio of yellow to red. So two fractions divided into each other shows the ratio of two items as a part-to-part -part ratio. With some ratios, we can find the fractional amounts they represent. Let's look at an example. In a class, the ratio of boys to girls is 3 to 5. How can you use this to find the fraction of boys and girls in the class? So we know the ratio of boys to girls is 3 to 5. But we also know that these are the only two categories either boys or girls. So we can model the ratios and the fractions. Here are five girls and three boys. The ratio of boys to girls is three to five. The fraction of boys is three over the total, which is eight. So the fraction of boys is three eighths. And the fraction of girls is 5 over the total, or 5 eighths. See a pattern? The denominator, 8, is the sum of 3 and 5. So if there is a collection of two types of objects, and they are in the ratio a to b for two numbers, a and b, then the fraction of a is a over the sum of a plus b. And the fraction of b is b over the sum of a plus b.